Hello, beautiful Sagittarius. How are you today? Happy holidays. Woo woo. Let's take a look and see what your overall energy is between you and your person for whom you are inquiring. And then we will look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions about this relationship and connection. So this is a mutual energy between the two of you at the present time. Ooh, lover's card, Gemini energy, soulmate card. Aw, the five of coins. It doesn't look like you're talking or you're able to see each other this holiday. You're both missing one another. You both feel sad without the other soulmate energy we have the two of swords you're trying to make the best of the situation you know it's there's not much that can be done about it if you're not together oh beautiful energy the strength card leo energy you really feel like there's a guardian angel standing watch over your connection emperor energy so we have leo we have aries energy so this Aries energy is the desire. Both of you have the desire to take control of the situation. Look at this major arcana. Look at this. One, two, three. And the two of swords is also Libra energy. So right now you're just trying to stay balanced. So let's see how your person thinks about you right now in this connection. What are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts about the connection? Anything that they think, whether it's obstacles, whether it's their worries, whatever it is. Okay. So your person is the Page of Swords. They're probably communicating with you online. Beautiful. This person, look at all the little butterflies. They're like, oh, I love to look at my Sagittarius online. I love to talk to Sagittarius online. The Four of Coins, your person's really trying to... They're a little bit covetous of you. They're, it means that they really, they're a little bit possessive of you. Because when we look at the card, if it's money, it's sort of miserly. It's holding back. But in this particular instance, it's like they're holding you close to their chest. You are valuable to them. Oh, beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups energy. Sagittarius, your person feels as though you are their happily ever after. Gorgeous energy. That is a marriage card, as you can see. Family, Pisces energy. This person fantasizes about what the two of you have possible in your future. So they are thinking about marriage with you. <laughs> the Knight of Cups, the handsome, bare-chested Knight of Cups wants to ride in on his beautiful steed with a big cup of love. Oh, your person is smitten. Sagittarius, they see you as just being beautiful. You are exquisite. You look good. You smell good. You, you are beautifully groomed. You're beautifully dressed. You know how to decorate a home. You know how to be single. They think you are the bomb. Hey, oh, look at that energy. Okay, in their heart space, they see you as a fiery queen. Oh, they feel very passionate about you. They definitely want, they feel as though the, your relationship could not possibly go wrong. This is the Aries queen. Um, they really never underestimate your ability to make dreams come true with them. In their heart space, they, they totally believe in this connection. They feel as though no matter what comes up in your connection, that in their heart space, it'll be, you will have a wonderful life with them, that you will be passionate, that you'll be loving. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy, and it really is them feeling very harmonious. They feel really as though they are no longer in a situation where they have to be guarded. They feel very balanced with you. This is a Libra Queen. Um, they really feel as though it might be time to let their guard down and to make a commitment with you. 
and now we have the King of Pentacles. Your person, that's a daddy card. That's their desire to nurture you. Look at all this energy. We have two queens and a king. We. Uh, this is gorgeous. I mean, soulmate card, emperor card, taking authority, taking charge to make your relationship go the distance. They feel as though they have to lure you <laughs> out of your singlehood. Release. There we go. They have to lure you or make you release your singlehood. That is really gorgeous energy. They feel as though you might be so comfortable being single that you may not want to marry. You may have even said as much to them. Sagittarius, you're actually known as the bachelor bachelorette sign in the zodiac. So your person probably has good reason to be concerned that if they don't do the right thing with you, they do live in a little bit of fear also of the sword. This person really wants to be very nurturing with you. Um, they feel in their heart space that both of you are very charismatic, you're, you're, you're able to build financial security together, that together you can have the Midas touch, that everything is really going to be very good with you, that your love, your work life, uh, you could have a beautiful life together and build a legacy in their heart space. The Eight of Cups, they're really tired of being alone. So let's see what we have for clarifiers here. The Eight of Cups energy in their heart space, they really want to be happy. But to me, this looks as though they want a dramatic change. And that dramatic change involves a marriage. Because we see them wanting to release. They want, they're tired of being lonely. They feel as though when they're not with you, they're lonely. They're not satisfied alone. They want to go from their there this is a eight of cups they want to go from this eight of cups energy to the nine of cups and they want to go from you know the nine of cups to the ten of cups which is happily ever after so it's really beautiful so you have the eight to the ten they want what they want and they are not going to be stopped until they get it they're coming in with a beautiful love offer okay so let's look and see what they intend to do with you. Look at this. That is an engagement ring. The Ace of Coins, when it's paired with the Three of Cups, is an actual engagement offer, typically. Um, so the Ace of Pentacles, a substantial offer. So that is their intention. The King of Swords is thinking about the Queen of Swords. So both of you are very detached right now. Your person is trying to figure out what does that look like? How do I approach my Sagittarius? How do I get them to <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles? How do I get them to be my Queen of Pentacles to my King of Pentacles? How do I get them to be my Queen of Swords to my King of Swords? Look at this, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They are about to tell you everything that they're thinking about in this relationship. They're holding off, though, for the right time. So why do we have the hanged man here? They're trying to look at things from um, your, you know, your perspective. What is this person thinking? Oh, they are rushing in. This person is so hot for you, they can't stand it. Hot, hot, hot. They cannot take being away from you. They want to see you as soon as possible. And their intention is to move the relationship forward with this offer. Their actions right now are coming in as Nine of Cups. So we go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, spending a lot of time with you, to the Ten of Cups being married to you. So their thoughts are that you are the one for them. Their feelings and their heart spaces are too lonely without you. And what they do plan on doing is taking action. Um, and this is really your wishes and dreams and uh, for love become real. This is good fortune. It's faith in the universe, but it is your wish fulfillment card. The Hermit card is telling me that right now they're keeping their plans quiet. They're not telling anybody. They're thinking about this. They are looking at what they, they're trying to figure out a plan. That's what they're working on right now. They're very much trying to find enlightenment about whether you would choose to marry them, the two of wands, what next steps they should be taking. So let's 
see here what we have in terms of what else they're actually going to do. We get the Ten of Air, ending a situation that brings relief for both of you, a new opportunity for happiness. So we're going to look at that. That Ten of Swords is the first time that I've seen that they have to actually cut loose from something else. Okay, they are releasing someone else, you know, or, or releasing a past that has bothered them, troubled them. Six of Swords really moving your relationship into a better time. So let's look and see. I'm going to look at my El Goliath deck and see what this Ten of Swords is. Because their actions are to leave pain behind. What is the pain that they perceive? So we want to see what the pain is. What is this Ten of Swords representing in terms of their actions? Why is it here at this point in the in the deck look at this knight of wands so this person wants to be happy again after a long period of being alone i'm seeing them really wanting to find their happiness with you specifically right now they're wanting to come in with this beautiful knight of wands energy but you can really see this is a kind-hearted person this person is more than just about all of the passion yes their passion passionate yes they're rushing in but this is a knight of wands that wants to stay around they want to use it. these little feathers represent um investment in the relationship let's look and see what we have here the end of a challenging time what does this mean what does this mean things are looking up what does this mean at this point in this in their actions the chariot card oh moving forward rapidly i do feel as though this could just be the historic time we're in you know i won't go into details because everybody knows what those details are but i feel as though sometimes you have been away from each other uh, for reasons that you really couldn't help this person is really bored with being alone they are rushing in they are looking at you. Look at this. They're looking at this crystal ball like, okay, tell me when to go. Tell me when I should get in my chariot, get in my car, mount my horse, get in the boat and go towards my beautiful Sag. And we have two cards that flipped over here. The Ace of Swords is this person is a very honest person. They have done a lot of introspection and work on themselves. We see the, the dark, you know, the shadow self. They know their truth. They know their past. They know their history. They know what they've done correctly in relationships. They know what they've done incorrectly. They are shedding their skin and expanding into this beautiful queen of pentacles energy, nurturing energy, very profound. Capricorn willing to do the work, willing to put in the time. That is absolutely gorgeous, and they are absolutely, their actions, they are taking action. So what we have here, Sagittarius, is a gorgeous reading for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care, Sag. Bye-bye.